Let's see what the uh, other one. Report time intervals. Let's look at 101 and 111. 101 is which reports and 111 is the time interval. So I want to add uh, 101 and 111 and we'll do monitor only. I always like to see what the defaults are do this. So we're setting user configuration. So number, let's see, 101 is 0 and 111 is the report interval. So that says it's only report once every 10 minutes, which is pretty long time to see if the light bulb's on. You can see it has updated there. We're now at 51 watts. But if I go down here, it hasn't updated yet. It's updated the intensity so let's go try to change that here's your default 600 so that's correct size is four byte let's make a four byte hex that way we can see the bits and this one is four byte decimal and what i'd like to do is change that to 15 seconds we have to look at this 101. Yeah, so here's 101 to 103. Yeah, so see these are the bits. This flag signals that report group one send or don't send. And our default is these are all zeros. So it says don't send these things automatically. So there's the watt flag. Yeah, so let's just do this. So what we want is a zero, one, one, one which is an E, since I did hex. So we'll do zero, zero, E. So E should be one, 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 zero. Let's go down and look. Yeah, there we go. So it's reading 14, which is zero E, 15 is F. So if we go back here, now let's see if this updates automatically. So we've got 45%, I'll go down. And you can see right there within about 15 seconds, the wattage updated automatically. And that's what you want. I've heard 15 seconds is about the fastest you want to update things. Because if you have a whole bunch of devices and you set them all to update every second, you're going to saturate your network with all these devices reporting every tiny change. I'm going to turn my incandescent bulb off and I turned on an LED bulb. So let's turn the dimmer on and let's see what it reports here. There we go, 10.229 watts. And then I should be able to dim the bulb. And there it, yeah, that looks, looks like it updated. So it went from 10 to 6. So now this dimmer is working as expected with an LED bulb. You know, what we changed was we turned on automatic reporting. It was turned off. We set the report watts from 50 down to 10. We left the change 10%. You also have to enable or select what data you want to report because by default nothing is reported and then we've changed it from report every 10 minutes to every 15 seconds. Yeah, there we go. We got the dimmer configured with Z-Wave and that is actually working pretty good. It reports power changes and it seems to be reasonably accurate comparing that to my bench power supply. The bulb itself is rated at 10.5 watts. My bench supply reads 10.5 watts. And there we go, 10.35 watts. I think it's fairly accurate. That's within one and a half, two percent. I think that is working quite well. So that concludes my little review of setting up and configuring a Z-Wave device. So this happens to be a smart energy light dimmer. The dimmer function seems to work pretty straightforward with Z-Wave, but setting up the energy reporting takes a little bit of uh, tweaking here. So, sorry this got a little bit long, but that's some of the things you have to do to uh, figure that out. If you have any other 
questions about that, put that in the comments section below. Check out some of my other home automation videos on my channel. You can subscribe for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.